name is Jeremy Schmidt, my brother, and welcome to Forever Daycare, a daycare where our kids from the ages of 5 to 11 can role play up the plushies during playtime, and this place is like any normal daycare, but with plushies and teachers, duh. What else would you expect from a daycare like this? So anyway, the driver of night guard is to keep the intruders from getting in, and to prevent them from possibly damaging some equipment. Now I heard that you used to work at Shelby's Pizza Place as a technician, right? Because if you're, if you're familiar with that job, then you might do some tasks after every shift then. So, be aware of that. You can't walk out if you're about half done. Because if you do that tons of times, it will result in your termination as a night girl slash technician. So just get your tasks done, okay? Good. Now anyway, onto your cameras and your camera panel. These cameras will track intruders every move, and if someone were to move, you would check them to see where certain intruders are. Now on to the vent. If you look at cam 8, you'll see the ventilation. And you will see a steel vent button on this cam. You can use it to block off the vents when an intruder is in them, and they will leave immediately. And if you want to unseal them if no one is in the vent anymore, tap the button unseal vent to unblock the vent. Only use the steel vent button if someone's in them. That is not activated since you can't use it on night like this. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, what to do with some of the doors? Right, you might have noticed on both sides of the office that there are some doors. So, if someone like, say, uh, um, an intruder is at the left door, you would go into the, your camera panel and tap the button to start AI to make that intruder go back to its proper place. Now on your far right, there is like a little shock button. So if an intruder is at the right door, then just tap the control shock button and they will go back to their proper place and fry their circuits, I think. Anything else I missed? Oh, right. As you can see in your office, there's a robot named... Get this. Help Fred. I know, it's a stupid name. But we call him that because he helps kids have this physical problems during the day. He does have a soul in him, but trust me, he's harmless. We put him in the office for closing up the place so that panels will damage him. So if you need help from him at any time, tap the Help Fred Helper button he will assist you, but he will disable your camera panel and play you an option of what you need help with. Once you an option, he will re-enable your camera panel and he will help you with the problem you selected. And one more thing about him, the amount of times you need him will vary each time, so just be careful. Now on the names of these plushies, Fred Bear, Frank Bonnie, and Frank Fred. There are two other voices in camera 9, but that camera is disabled because you don't need to worry about them yet. And one more thing, camera 4, the lights in there blew a fuse, and you need to fix them after you're done with the shift. That way, you will know who's in there. But don't worry if you don't see the robot in there for the cameras. We install the night vision system in that camera for this thing only, so that you will see him on the night. Is that everything? Yeah, I guess so. So this night should be easy to beat. So remember to check the cameras if someone moves. Tap the restart AI button in your camera panel if someone is at the left door, and that's it. Fast as a plushie here has some AI voltage or something, I don't know. So, good up, man. Call me when you reach 6 a.m. Okay, I got a message. So, 
You're now in the box of services room. It's a bit dark in here, I know. Since I mentioned earlier that the lights in here blew a fuse, but don't worry, the giraffe flashlight with you. You can turn it on to see in the dark and fend off whoever's in it. So, the robot in front of you, if you're using your flashlight, is named Frank. He was gonna be used to communicate with autistic people who can't speak, but um, due to it, this is glitching out a bit, we put him in the park of services room, also in a, a place you're in right now, because that was the only option we had. Otherwise, we would reprogram his entire system, which would take forever to do. Funny story, right? I know it's not that funny, but it's a story. Anyway, if you've got a main panel here prior to me messaging you, then you'll use it to reboot all five power modules in here. Yes, I said five. There's not only you, but you have to do five. <laughs> anyway, it will take a while for said modules to reboot, so just be patient. And remember, if Frank were to activate, you would shine your light at his head, and they can go back to his original position. But, if you're using your main panel too much, and you don't use your light, and Frank is not in front of you, you're dead meat. So, put your main panel down, if you hear Frank moving, you use your flashlight on him, okay? Good. So, you'll find me when you're done, okay? Alright, man, good luck. Finally got the power modules working at last. So the lights should be on now. You can now leave. Be back here again tomorrow. Bye.